Okay, you guys. So today I'm not going to be as storytelling as Brian was. I'm going to be a little more technical and focused on what I really came here to show value. Because um, my, I would say, presentation is not as fancy as his. So my name is Nikolina Tepovac Ivanova. I'm the founder of Glam Sophisticated Makeup Academy. We have been around since 2020. We opened up 2020. I came here 2013 as an immigrant, started my freelance makeup business, um, grew that very well, and then I decided to teach what I know and started to decided to teach other aspiring makeup artists how to start their own business in makeup, freelance makeup business, start making money, learn how to apply makeup professionally, and that's how my Makeup Academy was born. I got it licensed through the Education Commission in 2020, and this is our technically fifth year, even though 2020 was a half a year only for us. Um, I met Andy 2021 here at WeWork, and I decided to really scale my business. Um, and since then, I have sold over 900,000 in courses and classes. Okay. <laughs> Seems so surreal. But anyways, I told you, like I literally met Andy here when I was enrolling with boarding students, teaching at the same time, um, doing my own marketing, like I was a one woman show. And he was like, I, I gotta help you with this. We gotta do something about this. So we took back at the time, he was still helping build the automations and everything with his team. And he set me down and he was like, okay, let's do this. So about two, three months later, I had a VA, my first VA hired. I had my system set up, automations, course, everything already on board and then put on Prograda. And I haven't obviously moved from Prograda since. So um, my program is a hybrid. So we have two options. We can either onboard students 100% online or into the hybrid, hybrid option, which is online plus in person. We are now, so because of 70% of our students coming from out of state and going into the, our online program, we decided to start offering hands-on trainings nationwide. So we just came from Atlanta last week. We are going to Orlando now. We have New Jersey, or, um, what else? Chicago coming up, and we want to hit all the cities um, in all the states. Um, so that is something that I'm very excited because I see the need, I see the potential of my business, and I see that there's a lot of states and cities that don't offer the same type of education, and the reason why I wanted to start doing this and really take it nationwide. So very excited about that. So I want to share a little bit about my Prograda. So since I started using Prograda, I have generated over 21,000 leads. Well, contacts, not leads, but contacts, right? Because not everyone is a lead. Um, I blocked out phones and emails. Um, so this is how my, my um, dashboard looks like. Uh, for those of you who are just going to start using it, um, I'm sure that you can customize the logos as well. I'm sure there's so many things that I'm not even doing it at this point, but I just do what I really need to do um, and utilize it as, as best as possible. Like I said, one of the features I love the most is once someone inquires, um, let's say, um, I don't know, I probably this, this girl, you know, as you can see, she came from Instagram and then her phone number and email automatically updates here once she texts us or once she shares her information. And now I have that contact for that person. I don't I think I have 12, no, 14,000 emails and text messages. I want to say I have probably about 10,000. Um, I'm not sure. And then the rest could be just, um, contacts from social media that are we don't have their phone number or email. But I've realized that really my best conversion comes from text message. Mm -hmm. So I switched even to these new automations we're doing right now in new ads. Instead of asking for a name and email, I ask for name and a phone number. I really realized that for me, at least in my business, um, maybe because I'm dealing with more younger audience, they're not so much on email, they may be more on text message, I have better responses, I'm actually able to reach them easier um, through a text message. So the reason I switched my uh, business, my whole business to Prograda is because I'm able to manage my whole school operation from my, one software. Once I hired my VA, she's able to also go in, obviously log in, and she's able to do everything that I'm doing as well from onboarding, communicating, reaching out, following up. I mean, you name it, pretty much everything is on that one software. I don't even know if I use my laptop, to be honest. I only use my phone. So there's an app, Lead Connector, that I use, and I pretty much do my phone calls, text, emails, Instagram. I mean, everything I do through my phone. I literally run my whole business through my phone. Um, so I host my website, my courses, my landing pages, like Brian was saying, that where people can go in and sign up to a lot of different trainings and webinars that I offer, um, and all my digital products. By digital products, I refer to eBooks, courses, classes, anything in digital form. I also host on Prograda. Uh, lead generation, so like I mentioned, everything is connected through all my channels, and I love that, that I can keep track of everyone. Like it's so interesting when I have leads from two years ago, 
And I actually just from uh, the class in Atlanta, I'll share one of the students um, how we how we communicated. She inquired about a free training, I want to say 2022 or 2023. Mm -hmm. So she's been our, in our pipeline for so long. Mm -hmm. And then we reached out to her. Um, it was a cold outreach uh, through a text message. And she, um, you know, we started communicating and I closed her. And I was, while I was on the call with her, I was able to scroll all the way up to 2022 and look at our conversation. And I was like, hey, Susie, I remember you. We talked. She was like, how do you know? And I was like, I know, girl. Like, I remember everyone who I talked to. Like, literally from two years ago. Like, you inquired about this specific training in your test. She's like, yes, how do you know? I was like, yep, I know everything. So that was the part I love about this business. It's really cool, you know? So you can, you can literally, like, put in your notes. Anytime I talk to someone, I'm able, like, while I'm on a call, every time if, if I'm taking a sales call, I go on my um, notes and I'm writing down, like, she's from here, she's this age, her mom is this, her dad is this. I write down every single thing she tells me, so then when I talk to her two years later, let's say, or a year later, I'm able to go back to those notes and really, you know, know, know what we talked about. Um, so even my website, I connected to, um, to, to Prograda and then my landing pages, like I said. So every form, no matter where someone inquires, everything goes through uh, Prograda. Um, SMS phone calls uh, as well. So I have a business phone number. I have an assistant as well who does some of my sales calls. So she's able to log into the same system and call these students and leads. Email marketing, automations, which I'll share some of my automations, taking payments and onboarding students. I literally, on, before I used to onboard students, again, 30 minutes, it took me to onboard one student. Now it's just a, a quick tag, um, how do you call it, when you tag someone, um, and that, that tag um, kind of like mm -hmm. automates um, onboarding, onboarding process. Yeah, triggers, yeah. Onboarding. triggers onboarding process. So super easy, literally takes like one click and they get all the information. So that has been a game changer. So for any of you here, do you have any specific questions for those of you maybe who are just starting to use Prograda or maybe already using Prograda uh, about any of these features? If you want more information, how I utilize it, I'm going to go over some automations as well, but I want to see if you have any questions. Yes. I haven't taken payments on that, but does it take like a percentage or like is there a processing fee? Or so I connect to my Stripe. I don't know if there's other payment processors that Prograda works with. I think Stripe is the most common one. It's going to have PayPal now, but Stripe PayPal. is the most common. PayPal is coming as well, and a few other ones. And then as every uh, payment processor, I believe 2.9% plus 10% 10, 10 or 10 cents per transaction. So about 3% um, is what they take. And I love that because when I'm on the call with them, I love to take payments while I'm on the call or at least send them an invoice while I'm on the call with them. So I'm able to do that literally through my app. Um, super easy. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's all like nicely, like it says my name, my logo on it, like I don't have to go in and create, like you have no idea how many people create um, invoices in Canva. They go in Canva and then they draft an invoice and then do it. <laughs> like it's such a waste of time. Like it's so, like right, it's wasteful. Like you have to pull copy paste information and make it cute and put a logo and you know, I'm just like, no, like I don't need a paper invoice. I need where I can pay the invoice. If let's say someone's sending it to me or if I'm sending it to them. So this does everything for you. So you don't have to worry about it. You can set up a recurring payments. Like we now started doing the subscription plan. So recurring payments is as well something that you can do automated, right? It does the whole thing for you. Just charges automatically. You can char You can set up how many payments you want to do and how uh, often. So it's really like, I, I again, Progretta is something that I've been using since, again, 2021. So this is one of the automations I want to share um, for what we do right now when we started running these ads. So we just started, this is the, the brand new ad we just started running. So Sergio does my ads. We target, if you guys want to know more about ads, talk to him. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to talk more about the automation that happens after someone inquires on the ad. So the, the trigger word or trigger sentence, you can set up a, a word like motivation, like Brian was saying, or a full sentence, depends on what it is. I have a full sentence, which this, if I'm understanding correctly, Sergio, they just click on this. They don't need, need to actually type it in and go to my profile, right? So how does that exactly work? Like when they see an ad, let's say it's a story ad, they just click on it and automatically it sends this trigger so word, right? Send them to the to Instagram messaging because so you and then they start on Instagram message. Instagram message, okay. So it automatically, automatically. okay. And once they press, it becomes a lead and then it starts your automation. Okay. 
so that's how it works. So this is the first message. And then this, for some reason, I don't know where this comes from. Thank you. We have a representative coming to chat with you. I think this is a Facebook thing, a new thing that yeah, yeah. it's like automated it, like, now. We can change it to whatever. You want. To whatever, right? So this is something tell, that tell, it, it, ha the, it takes it as a question. It has to have an, an, have an answer. It has to have an answer. So this is a new thing. So anyways, this comes from Facebook. And then uh, after that, this is the information that we send them. Hey, you know, and I have that little wait time, like a 0 0.5 or 0 0.2 uh, minutes. So it's not, doesn't seem like, you know, all the messages come at once. It's like a little bit broken down. Like it's almost someone texting. So it takes time for them to text, right? So like the first message is, thank you for reaching out. We are licensed Academy, you know, information a little bit about us. Then we go into um, asking them for information uh, about them. So her name is Corinne. She sent her phone number and it updates her information opportunity created, as you can see here. This is the funny thing is it pulls a name from their Instagram. So like this was her name on Instagram, just the emoji. But after that, I actually went there. Yeah. So like, you know how like you have a username and you have a name. So if someone puts in the name, if they put whatever they put, that's what Progretta pulls. So that's the only thing that, you know, is not, I would say, good because it's not going to, sometimes it does, it takes some time to um, change the name, but I don't really care about the name, to be honest, I care about the phone number. So as soon as uh, that happened, it sends them a Instagram message um, and it also sends them, uh, 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 let's see, this, I don't know, when I send this to uh, Dana, maybe she missed matched these messages let me just see okay so there it is so he sends them a me instagram message uh, information about the upcoming classes this already happened and then he sends them an sms as well um and then he sends them this little flyer in the sms as well so that was that's literally what happened in the in the span of a couple of minutes so wait hold on so it goes instagram yeah at, so add Instagram, yeah. automation takes place, yeah. you capture the phone number, and then you automate the text message? Yes. No, so all this is automated. Yeah. So you can see the times, right? So she inquired 3.55, 3.56, she already sent us her phone number. Um, 3.55 was still this text message on Instagram. 3.55, obviously, this is a uh, message again. And then 3.56, so literally in the span of two minutes, this has all been automated. So this was an Instagram message and an SMS same message, message as well. Um, same message, a little bit different um, because I wanted to capture the, you know, I tell them like, hey, send me, I don't know if it says here anywhere, um, send me a text message or send me a, your phone number so I can text you. I don't know. It's Again, it's broken up a little bit weird right now because the way I took screenshots, maybe it doesn't go in the same way. The third screenshot that you Yeah. Doesn't matter. So anyway, this is a, a text message, pretty much the same information. Just this one has also a flyer um, with just the bro broken down information about the uh, the program. And then I start, you know, I ask her, are you beginner makeup artist already doing makeup professionally? She didn't answer that question. She just said, I'm located in Atlanta. I think she was responding to this specific message about the Atlanta training. Um, and then I was like, you know what? Let me just give her a call right away. She's hot, right? So she just inquired. So I was like, let me just give her a call. A minute later, I gave her a call um, and we scheduled a follow up because she's 20. So she wanted to talk to her mom about the training. I told her about all the information about the training, about the payments and everything. And she was like, okay, let's schedule a phone call. Um, and the cool thing is it records your phone calls as well. So you can go back to them and, you know, um, re um, listen to them or your team can re listen to them, make sure that you said something right. And then we scheduled our phone call was 10 minutes long. We scheduled a um, this was October 15th so for the next day, a follow up and I sent her an invoice. Um, so that's how I do it through Progretta. So it sends them an invoice and this is the link where she clicks on it. Um, second day we, I talked to her mom cause her mom wanted to make sure we're legit. She was like, I want to make sure you guys not a scam or something like that. I was like, we're not a scam. I sent her a bunch of information and then she paid her invoice. Mm -hmm. Um, so this happened in the span of, I believe two days yeah. ish. Yeah. Yeah, so that was that was literally how it happened. So I've Can noticed. Let's give us a round of applause. It's been like two years since I've been like yeah. saw your campaign, and I know you work. Hold on, I know you work more with my team today than, than you work with me. So it's impressive to see because I remember when we sat down over here. Yes. You pulled out your iPhone and you were like, "This is my PRM." Yep. Right? Yep. <laughs> like, In a notebook, I had a notebook yeah. like you did. <laughs> my CRM was a notebook. But I do want to address one thing. I'll give you your, your yeah. additional time. I do want to address one thing. What supported her 
and generating that extra nine hundred thousand dollars from a marketing standpoint, I can see it. It's called speed to lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he generates leads through his magic with what yeah. he does on Facebook, right? But within three minutes, you capture the name, email, you know, you capture their contact details, mm -hmm. and you're already in conversation. Yeah. They're no longer searching. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. Just to point that out there. So I've noticed, thank you for saying that. So I noticed whenever we have someone that, uh, puts their phone number, they are hotter than those who don't. We still have people who inquire, but they never put a phone number. They, we reach out to them, they never do that. They are not as inclined to purchase or buy or attend our classes. So I've noticed whenever I do that, like I just had a call on the way here. That's why I had to, um, I was a little late because someone just inquired. I was like, let me just call them right away. They're hot, they just saw my ad. Mm -hmm. Let me call them. If I call them as the owner who whose page you know they, they came from, they're gonna be like, oh wow, she's calling me. Like it seems, you know, it seems a little bit more personal, I guess. Yeah. So, and that girl is very interested to our Orlando class. She wants to sign up. So, this was one of those. So, this is the second one. Uh, oh, I wanted to um, also the onboarding process. So, this is her information. Uh, my assistant asked her when once she obviously signed up. She was like, hey, I want to send you all the information. Can you provide your email information? She provided her email and then it updated the contact here. So you can see here, I have hands on nationwide is the tag that we tagged them from the um, ad they came from. Mm -hmm. So now that's a new tag that we created. Atlanta was a manual tag because she told me she's in Atlanta. So I go, I went in and I have tags with different states and, and um, cities and I added that manual tag. And then we also have these two tags for um, the online course. Mm -hmm. So how that works or how that looks like once we trigger that tag, we have an automation set up. It sends them the um, email with information on the login for the course. Mm -hmm. So yeah, go ahead. So five minutes. Five more minutes, okay. <laughs> so it sends them login information for the course, which inside is their e username, which is their email, and it generates a password for them. I think it's a new system right now you guys are using where they can actually make their own password. I don't know, it looks yeah, different. Yeah, basically invite them to log in though. Yeah. And then opportunity, new opportunity created, like she already bought. Um, and then we have also the uh, information about, you know, text message, email, information, how to log in, what to, uh, the whole thing, right? So like you can literally, this was one tag, sends them all the onboarding at once, okay? That was one of them. So this is the second one where we actually send a cold outreach. Hey, you know, to all our leads, we literally just blast a text message to everyone. So we have a tag. I don't know if you saw on the first page, we have a tag of everyone who is not a part of the course. So everyone who is a lead but not a part of the course, we send them this text message so we can segment those. Um, hey, we're coming this, you know, to, to the um, um, Atlanta, you know, the whole information. And then she went, there is actually uh, last part of the message says, here's our website. She went on the website, she filled out information on the form, and this was a text message that was triggered after she filled out a form. This one, two, and three opportunity created where she actually went on their website. So she's tagged as a website, I think a website lead. She booked her call with us. Um, she booked a call. Uh, yep, and then here's just missing the part where I scheduled her for a follow-up after the call. Before the follow-up, I sent her an um, invoice and then she paid the invoice. So that also happened in the span of two days between a cold outreach to um, closing her. So that was another example of cold outreach, which you, can, you guys can do as well. You can do pretty much whatever you think in your head that you want to do as part of automation, Prograta can do it for you. Mm -hmm. So it's super, super easy. I think that's the last of it. Yeah, yeah. that is. Right. So I wanted to share my process. Uh, questions? Questions for her? Go ahead. Do you only oh, sorry. So this is all, this is your Instagram stuff? Yes, this is all mm -hmm. Instagram. This so, is us. Uh, well, the, you can see here, this is an email, obviously. Um, let me see. This was a text message, SMS. Okay. SMS, SMS, SMS. For the other girl, most of them were Instagram. So they start on Instagram and then they go into Instagram. It started on Instagram, yeah. Got it. So we're looking at this in the Progretta and you can go on your This is screenshot from Progretta. Got it. Yeah. Lead generate, um, what is it called? Lead, lead, a lead connector. Lead connector. Yeah. Got yeah. Okay. So this was a screenshot from lead connector. Correct. So this is exactly how it looks like. Like again, goes on Instagram. She provided her phone number. It opportunity created for her as a new lead. And then um, it sent her a text message. Yeah. So it looks like that. Okay. So it's it's not going to trigger a text message unless she provides a phone number, right? Because there's no phone number. So the automation only works until they provide information. If they didn't provide information, the rest of the automation, which is this SMS, wouldn't be triggered. 
yeah. right? Because we don't have a phone number. So the app, and you can set up your um, automations, you know, what if happens, like if they provide, if they don't provide, right? So if they provide a phone number, it goes and you can, you know, have a certain automation, but then if they don't provide, what happens? There can be maybe a follow-up sequence and after 24 hours, hey, did you see my message? Or, hey, are you still interested? You know, so like we have what if, is that what it's called, what if, right? Yeah. Uh, if, when, or what if? If, if yeah. when, yeah, so what, you, you can literally customize as you like, it's, it's insane. Yeah. So you so you pretty much have your main funnel where everything comes in and it goes through that automation and then the what ifs you just break off into another mini funnel? Um, so this is all one funnel. One automation. When you say funnel, I'm talking about automation, not a funnel. So funnel is where we attract leads, right? So like Susie was an old lead, but you know, we still close her. So like this is a from the ad, this is a automation from the ad. So everything is on one. I would I don't have a screenshot to see how it looks like you had a screenshot from yours I didn't I wanted to show you how it looks on the back end or front end actually this is more the front end but I can always show the back end you know if I have the time but I don't so, <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't see a funnel this was ad yeah and it was all Instagram DMs and text messages and text messages yes they, they didn't see the back end they didn't see my my setup right? right but I can show that as well I just thought that I might not have enough time um, to show that as well. Thank you. Go ahead. I just want to contribute an idea that I had with Brian because I saw how many contacts you had and I remember like sometimes we have discussions of emailing them and stuff. Mm -hmm. So one thing as you post social media to uh, to blast it out on email like maybe this post can help you get inspired again in your career or something just little things. Okay. Like touch Yeah, mm -hmm. like or you you have a lot of a ton of content. Like even old content. Mm -hmm. Because we were we're discussing followers and it's so hard to get people to follow you these yeah. days on social. Yeah. I think that's that 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 helps. could work. Yeah. So a lot of times I reuse and repurpose my content that I make on social media. I make it into into an email as well. So I do that as well, yes. That's a really good one. Yeah, so you have questions? Uh, do you only take payments to Progretta or on your website too? Um, so I mostly to Progretta, I would say 90% through Progretta um, I, or Stripe. So if I do it, sometimes I manually create a payment link through Stripe, but honestly, since I started using Progretta, I mostly just do it through Progretta. So I create a payment link through Lead Connector and then text them the link that way. But because it's connected to my Stripe, it just goes there. If they go to my website, let's say the subscription plan we have on our um, membership, and they actually subscribe themselves, automatically it subscribes them through Progretta, but it's again connected to Stripe. So automatically charges them every month for 12 months. Mm -hmm. So technically, to answer your question, everything does go through Progretta mostly. Yeah. Let's go, Thank you.